Hello YouTube, what's up? This is Edius, and I'm here with a video on how to create a mod pack for the Technic platform. This is for 2013 up from Minecraft 1.2.3 up to 1.5.1. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a mods folder. This mods folder is going to contain a folder called core mods and mods. You're going to want to get core mods and mods. If you, When you're downloading your mods that you'd like to use in your mod pack, it will usually list on the forum whether it is going to be a core mod or a mod. In this example, I'm going to be using custom port mod, not enough items, and a couple of others. You're also going to want to download a for the latest forge for the version of Minecraft that your pack is going to be. Mine is going to be 1.4.7, so I'm going to download a version of 1.4.7 forge latest and put it in a folder. This cannot be in a zip, so put it in a folder. The entire thing. Now you're going to want to create another folder. This is going to what's going to con this is what's going to contain your pack and everything that you are creating. I would suggest naming it mod pack. Now you're going to have to create four folders in here. I have seen many videos on how to do this, but lots of them they're either spelled wrong or capitalized. It has to be exactly like this. Bin. config mods and core mods it must be okay sorry about that it has to be one of those four now I mean what am I talking about? It has to be these four if you do not make them exactly like this I'm going to get a bunch of comments complaining that this didn't work. Exactly like that. Now, you're going to get your Minecraft Forge folder. And you're going to want to put it into a zip. Um, sorry about what I <laughs> thought earlier. You don't have to do that. You can have it in a zip and you can just rename it. But you're going to rename it Mod Pack. You're going to press the arrow key a couple times to the right. Get rid of zip and rename it job. Yes, you want to change it. Now you have a modpack.jar. The basic idea of what a modpack.jar is does is because because of Minecraft's terms of use, you are unable to distribute redistribute Minecraft.jar. So the, therefore, that tech the Technic launcher takes Minecraft jar directly from its source, how it would if it's the launcher. However, it also downloads the files that you provide, which is the modpack.jar. Anything you put in the modpack.jar will be in put into the minecraft.jar. So, forge, you put that in there. If you're using smart moving, you can, but optifine, for some crazy reason that I have absolutely no idea, you're no longer allowed to use his optifine and modpacks. But if you download a modpack, you can install it yourself. So, you're going to be putting this modpack.jar in your bin folder. Bin folder. That's where it would go in if you were installing this manually. Now, your config folder is going to contain nothing right now, but later in the video, we are going to be putting some things in it if there are mod ID conflicts with the mods that you are using. Now, you're down to the two core mod and mods folder. You're going to put all of the core mods that you had in this into this. Oh, okay. I'll put all those in there. And all the mods in your mods folder. It's quite simple. Now if you now you're gonna need to test everything to make sure that it's in working order and that you don't end up um completely failing if that that was a better way to put it. So, I have released the pack called Zedistry. Well, from this video is made, it's hidden, but it may be released soon. And it's basically this. So, I'm not going to test it because I know it will work. But you will need to um, load a, mine a normal Minecraft version, get a version of Forge and put your mods and mods in there. If they work perfectly, there's no errors, 
you can test it for bugs, you can just pack this into a zip. I found that it is kind of, like, I stopped doing this and it worked. Do not click add the archive. Create a zip. Also, it cannot be a RAR. It has to be a zip. You're going to name this mod pack. That's it. Now you're going to put all of these four folders, not the one main folder, those four folders, in the mod pack zip. Once this is done, you have your finished mod pack in a zip. It's that simple. It really is that simple. But many video creators are making this a lot harder than it needs to be. Now you're going to open your internet browser. After my internet browser loads, I am going to show you somewhere that you are probably going to be best off um, uploading your files. Dropbox. Many um, people, okay, while you're using Dropbox, if you've ever used Dropbox, lots of people will give you links that you have to click download, and then it'll download. But that's not the case here. If you upload it into the public file, you will be able to copy the public link, and that is a direct download link. If you created your account after some time, and if you've never heard of Dropbox and you're making it now, I'm sorry to say that I don't remember where it is, but there is a setting on Dropbox that allows you to add the public folder. You could probably search that up on Google, or I might take the liberty to put it in the description if I find it. So you will upload it to your public file. It'll be modpack.zip. Once you have this down, you're going to right-click, copy public link, and copy the clipboard. All right? And then you're going to go to technicpack.net. This is where everything is done, and now you're going to go to create a mod pack. You are going to name all this stuff, the Minecraft version it would use, mod pack name, short description, agree, and then it's going to take you to um, browse mod pack. It's going to take you to my mod packs. Then it's, well it's actually going to take you to the page for it, and it's going to say that it's not going to work until you provide a link for it. You're going to click edit. And then you're going to paste that link into the mod pack location. Mod pack location. And make sure you edit everything that you'd like. You can get a fancy BB code pack description, very nice pack logo and a pack background. Change log permissions and licensing. You have to do permissions and licensing licensing for all the people that created mods in your pack so that you are violating copyright issues. So you're going to click save mod pack, and then you're going to notice, well, click on the blue letters naming your pack, and the platform URL. You're going to click copy URL, then you're going to open your Technic Launcher. The new Technic Launcher is very cool because it allows people to do this. Technic went from one mod pack to hundreds of mod packs. Business Elite is quite nice. Um, Props to the creator of that. It's all these packs are somewhat close to tech it, but there's always something new to them. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do with mine. And you're gonna click add new pack. Lots of people have trouble getting to it, but you'll just click on it. Technic platform, you'll paste in the URL that you copied earlier, and you'll click add mod pack. Your mod pack will then show up on the left. In this example, it would be there, but I didn't click it because I didn't want to. And click launch. At this point, it's going to start downloading all your files that you had uploaded, including a uh, fresh version of Minecraft and that. Once it's done, FML will be setting up your Minecraft environment. And we will sit there for the 30-second 30, 30 admiration of Mojang that is required to play anything that is modded with Minecraft. <laughs> I really do laugh sometimes how the Mojang lasts so long. And once Mojang goes away, you will see that you will have a fresh version of Minecraft will have installed. Well, not fresh version. It will have all your mods installed. You will be able to notice straight away that there will be the mods folder, mods button, and 28 mods loaded. I'll have a mods you have. Are you able to read all your mods? One thing that I do know, forestry. 
industrial craft light helmet there it is so thanks guys for watching um i hope you did take something out of this and that this doesn't result in as many problems as some of the past videos have um if you liked it please help me help me out get noticed by subscribing hitting that like button doing everything you can to help me out it would be very nice if i would get some a good amount of views in my videos and I really do think that this video will help a lot of people. Again thanks for watching and have a nice day.